Welcome to Rust. Today, we're gonna be playing solo on Blue Lagoon Solo Duo Trio. Normally, when I play this server solo, I don't do very well because I get destroyed. But I'm hoping that I'll be able to do something different because it's about time that I get a good run in, you know? And I felt like I should just take the beast head on and just go for it, you know? Just go for it, man. You may be wondering, but Solo Duo Trio, isn't that easier? Well, the thing is that usually a lot of people on here are sweaty and um, I just get destroyed. So I'm hoping that that doesn't happen this time around. Oh my god, look at how cheap these guns are. 400 sulfur for a SAR. Wow. This is a Sunday on a weekly wipe server, so I guess I should sort of expect that kind of thing. No, no. No! shit on bitch. I actually might bleed out. Good thing I- oh, water catcher. Perfect. Easy clap. Okay, there's enough water here to fully heal. Alright, that's as high as it's gonna go. There's a man pushing a boat right there. Yes! I got him! Yes! <laughs> I don't know what this guy's plan was. Oh no, this is a mess. Ah! No, he hit me! Fuck! This is so shitty! Oh my goodness. What an interesting start. I can get a SAR by farming one sulfur node. So that's like, really good to know. <laughs> Poor guy. Um, roof camping tower right there. Kind of yikes. Holy shit, dude. There's so many bases everywhere, man. This base is open. Could be worth, could be worth. Looks like a posty base, actually. I can, I can live here. Dude, fuck it, dude, I'm gonna build in this. I do have extra bows, I can go check out that Thompson. Can't hurt. I don't even know if I wanna take this gear, I think I'm just gonna go full naked with a bow and an Ioka. Wow, it is actually really cold. See somebody over there on that base. Oh fuck, that's an AK. Dude! <laughs> Please! Ah, oh, I need a one-click Ioka. Why doesn't it ever happen to me? Fuck. My Yokas are such assholes to me, dude. So if you've seen my latest video, you'll know I've been living the unlucky life in Rust the past week or so. Promising starts, but I just couldn't get my foot in the door. To avoid that happening again, I decided to take a different approach to this wipe. Instead of trying to snowball, I was going to buy guns from player shops and work my way from there. So I revisited the map to conjure up a plan. Okay, um, is anyone selling a tier two? I actually want to see real quick. 2,000 sulfur, that's doable, of course. Wait, I give this guy a Thompson, I get 1,000 sulfur. So, wait a minute. So if I buy Thompsons from this guy, I buy three Thompsons for, what is that? 1,350 sulfur. I then go over to this shop, and I buy the sulfur for three Thompsons. So I get over 2,000 sulfur profit. Then I go over to this shop, buy a workbench level 2 for 2k sulfur. Or maybe I'm just overthinking this, maybe I just farm sulfur. I mean look, there's, there's sulfur all over the place over here, dude. Either way, I'm still gonna remember to go do that because it is actually a really good deal. Oh, 
Oh my god, look at the sulfur. This this couldn't be easier. Okay, this is perfect. This is literally exactly what I need. All this sulfur around me is just currency to like actually get this run rolling, get this start going. Pistol bullet for 150 sulfur. That's drone only. Wait, how many of these are drone only? Oh no, okay. I think I do need to go to Bandit to buy some of these things. Fuck, man. I need more scrap. My plan was coming together nicely, but I just realized I needed to buy med and pistol ammo separately, and that they were also drone-only shops. This would force me to have to make a run to Bandit camp, but I needed more scrap. Really, not that much scrap at all. I only need like 60. But then I need scrap to research some items too, so... I'm just gonna try and do one run here. Hopefully, uh, Sewer Branch actually has some stuff on Jump Red. Okay, that's perfect. It has all crates. Someone is coming for me. Alright, well that just cut a few things off the list. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. There's so much, dude. That is perfect. I just need to get the fuck out. I got pistol ammo and med. I can research both. I don't even need to spend that much scrap. No, that's perfect. All right. Holy shit, so much cloth, dude. Th those nakeds were loaded. Pistol ammo, wait a second. Just wanna make sure that the server doesn't have it defaulted, all right. What? I do have it. I, I checked though, god damn it, man. Okay, it's only 75 scrap, it's whatever. After re-researching pistol bullets and learning med syringe, all I needed was the tier two and the guns. So I brought over all the sulfur I'd need and the scrap to make the transactions as well. I wasn't planning to research these guns, I was just buying them to PVP with to hopefully get more. I'm really hoping I can do this. Get out in one piece. Oh my god, this is such a scary run, dude. Knowing that there's just like AKs and shit everywhere, man. Okay, safe zone. Yes. Alright, let's buy some shit. Okay, nice. That's that's such a low HP Tommy. There we go. Out of stock? I guess someone bought the third one. Well, that's alright. Two, two will be enough. Oh! Tommy with hollow and flashlight. Yoink. Alright, we got a tier two and we got two... Well, we got three total guns now, so... If I get this stuff home, I'll be okay. I don't think this base is active. I'm saying that because there's like a shop connected to it, but it's not even on the map. Because look, there's a shop and then there's nothing on the map. All right, we made it home. Thank fucking God. I had faith, though. I had faith. Now we have a tier two. I can make pistol ammo as soon as I start smelting shit. This is looking really good now. I think it's about time to expand now. The reason I did that is so I can make some furnaces and put them in that little hole. I need some more wood. Oh 
my god. Let's get an extended chance. After I was done situating the base, I heard some shots nearby. There it is. see him. Dying there didn't entirely matter now that I had a tier 2 and furnace is cooking. As long as that shop near lighthouse stayed stocked up, I'd always have a backup plan. Oh! What the fuck? Ladders? Oh? Okay, nothing too insane, but I'll take it nonetheless. I'm actually gonna research this ladder, because that's really useful. This is beyond easy to get into. Nothing. Base is missing a window, though. Shoddy trap? Loaded? Question mark? I feel like this would be shooting me. Definitely is not loaded. Okay. TC. This is rated for sure. This is 1 billion percent rated. Seems like there's some stuff in here though. Oh. Furnaces? Okay. Oh my god. This place is really crazy. How I just jumped out of that is like the most ideal way you want to do that. <laughs> I had some success building into that compound, so I wanted to try this tower that was right next to my base. Okay, this compound's gonna be a little bit compacted, isn't it? I can just ladder in though, it's no big deal. Oh wow, I was, I was actually not expecting turrets. I will be completely honest with you, I wasn't expecting turrets at all. This tower was much more protected than I thought it was. Perhaps it had something to do with NordVPN. No, I'm serious. Just like your compound walls and turrets, NordVPN can keep you safe from intruders by protecting your internet connection and privacy online. It can even allow access to videos and shows unavailable in your country. There's really no drawbacks. Nord is one of the most secure, fast, and easy to use VPNs out there. It's available worldwide and on most devices, including your phone. By simply going to the description of this video and clicking my link or using my code blueprints, you can get a two year plan plus one additional month with a major discount. Do you really want your personal info to be exposed? Things like your address, full name, but most importantly, your base codes? Of course you don't. So once again, make sure to check out NordVPN using my link or code blueprints. Thank you NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back to our adventure. Anyways, where were we? I had just discovered this tower's compound was more fortified than I imagined, so I gave up on hopping into compounds for now, and decided to go roam with one of my Thompsons. Wow, skill. That's Russ gameplay for you in a nutshell. At least I kind of evened out here. May have gotten DB'd, but I evened out. Let's go for that.
I'm like really in need of weapons, so I'm gonna depot this Tommy or this SAR and then come back. I have a feeling they're still gonna be there. A, actually, that was a massive win. While I was over at that fight, I noticed an interesting looking base. I wanted to bring over some grub gear and ladder up to see what the deal was, but I was cut off on my way there. Get the fuck out. Getting a total of five extra guns within a few minutes was exactly what I needed as a solo. Losing a gear set now wouldn't have nearly as bad of an effect as it would have before. As long as I kept up that momentum, things would work out fine. As long as I kept it up. Bruh, there is literally an airdrop right where I just was. Oh god, what is that? It doesn't look fun at all. They have a mini on the roof, that means they're active. Big yikes. Oh boy. LR boy. I would definitely like that LR. That would be nice. I think that's him right there on that rock. Don't you see me, you fucking weirdo? That's so sus. You just instantly drop that and look straight at my school? Yeah, fuck you, you cheating son of a bitch. Fuck <laughs> I heard him. I knew he was there a long time ago. He's making so much fucking noise. I didn't realize the airdrop was right there. I was gonna fight the LR guys, but I'm gonna stash this shit actually. Fucking naked, picking up guns. No, that wasn't him. Congratulations, you have run a rock. Wow, that's so annoying. That was a major feels bad man moment. After two v one full kits fair and square, I died to one of them running back naked. Luckily, I had my stash for a second win. Holy shit! Best player I've ever seen in my life! That's fucking crazy. Unfortunately, the LR guys got away, but at least I got out with an M39, right? Okay, I thought he found my M39 for a second. Wait. Wait. 
He did find my M39. He finds my M39! Despite bleeding out in an extremely secluded spot, some kid with 20 hours just had the luckiest start of his life. So I guess I got out with pretty much nothing. No way this guy just logged on and starts roof camping, dude. No way. It's that tower that's roof camping right now. I mean, I guess I got a custom 36 HQM and two satchels from that, but I mean, nowhere near what I could have had. I really hope that guy isn't roof camping up there because if he is, then that's kind of weird champ because I haven't seen him all wipe and he's up there right now. So he must have just logged on and just started shooting people. I don't know. <clears throat> all right. Back to it. Please go away! Such a useless person in this fight, man. Like, he's just sitting there. Thank God. I need to go do a tunnel run soon, I think, dude. Whatever happens after this, I'm gonna go do a tunnel run. some ladders. I'm gonna run back to base and get ladders. If someone finds my body, I'm gonna be beyond tilt. It's not even gonna be funny. I'm hoping that that guy is a bag timer. Mid. Ladders. My body is looted. Wow. I am the most unlucky Rust player. I can't believe it, man. I just can't believe that. It's like an admin is watching me and he's looting me every time just to troll me. That's what it feels like. So once again, I'm losing guns because somebody somehow finds my body. The difference between last time and this time, however, is that I had a pretty good idea where the people who took my shit lived. Even if they didn't loot my guns, they were roof camping me for no reason as a naked. I had a feeling these guys were bad news, but I didn't want to find out just yet. I was running low on cloth, so I figured I'd make a run to train tunnels to get a bunch of components to recycle for it. That's exactly what I'm looking for. After 15 minutes of running the tunnels, I had a lot of components. Plenty of sewing kits and stuff to recycle for cloth. But before I'd go recycle them, I heard a fight over by the hillside roof campers. So, I went to go check it out. Cool. I'm just instantly fucking dead. I just love roof camping. It's all I do all day and it's my favorite thing I've ever done in my life. I 
I don't know why that guy was on his roof in the first place. Maybe he got door camped and then he had to get on his roof to shoot. But it, it, every time I've gone over there, I've been getting roof camped. So, but at least I was able to get out with this. Thank God. I needed to win that fight. I needed to get something from that fight. Otherwise, I'd be looking pretty bad. I was right. I couldn't call this guy a roof camper just yet. Although he was shooting me from his roof when I was naked for no reason earlier, roof camping in this scenario could have been justified. Maybe the SAR guy he was fighting with was door camping him or something. So I headed over again with some shitty gear to get to the bottom of this. Were they roof campers or were they not? Let me go say hi to my roof camper friend. Wow, yeah, the, he is a roof camper. Like, at first I thought he was like defending his base maybe, but no, it's like 100% guaranteed that they're, they're just roof camping. They're just, they just sit on the roof all day and wait for someone to pass by. That 100% confirms it. Like it's in the middle of nighttime and the fight is well passed over and they're still on the roof. So that confirmed it. By heading over there after the fight was over, in the middle of the night, and discreet enough that they wouldn't hear me, they were still on their roof waiting. Now that I knew these guys were 100% roof campers, it was time to mess with them. Shh. Calm down. Hey, do you guys ever get off of your roof? Or is it only roof camping? Anything other than roof camping? Well, I understand why you roof camp now. <laughs> yeah, no, man, I'm too bad. I only had like yeah, just, 30 just keep roof camping. Hey, hey, buddy, you on the roof? Hey, there's a whole world out here. Don't you want to come play Rust? Or are you just gonna stay on your roof all day? Oh. Here he comes! I am dead. Oh! Comes out of his base, finally! With a DB! I'm not the same guy, man. I don't know who you got. What? Yeah. But he is the same guy. He's literally not getting shot by the roof camper. That means he's in the same team. <laughs> is he that stupid? And just like that, the hillside roof campers and I became enemies. And what do you do with enemies? Well, you raid them. The problem was, I had absolutely no means of making explosives yet. The only thing I had going for me at the time was sulfur. There was plenty of that around. But I still needed some decent explosives, a tier 3 workbench, and more scrap to do all this. So I took all of my components from the train tunnels run to go and recycle. So I did another train tunnels run to make up for all the components I lost. And while I was down there, I found an important piece of the puzzle. Okay. Oh, oh! I have never gotten that from a, from one of those crates before. That's kind of crazy. When I got home, I was about to go farm sulfur to buy a tier three on the map somewhere. That's when I realized I was actually kind of close to being able to craft it the traditional way. One recycle run should get me there. Like I'm at 900 scrap. I'm wondering if it would be better to just get a tier three the, the traditional way. Cause like what else am I gonna use scrap for? It's not like I'm gonna research things at the end of the day. And the things I need to research are relatively cheap. So I think I am just gonna grind it the traditional way. Perfect. I think that is enough. The, okay, I need to farm this sulfur. It is crazy how much there is. I don't want to let anyone else get it. Okay, we're good on cloth. Um, shit, but we need an oil refinery or something to get more oil. Yep, I can make a tier 3. Before I made a tier 3, I wanted to farm all the sulfur in my area. But on my way out, I got slightly distracted.
It was a smart player. It was actually a smart player. But I just doubled him, so... <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so if I wanted to think about targets right now, I guess my main target would be those roof campers around H13 middle. Around there, I guess is where they are. That's my number one target. My second target is this tower. But that looks really expensive. I just see armored sticking out. I know it's gonna be super expensive. There's probably armored doors and shit. Okay. Row and a half of sulfur. Five minutes of farming. It's pretty good. Let's make a tier three. How am I gonna place this though? I don't even know how I'm going to. I'm just gonna put it in the box for now. The next couple of hours consisted of a lot of preparations and base activities. I did some wood farming, I did some expanding. I went to Sewer Branch to recycle and refine crude oil at its refinery. I added some more furnaces to my base to smelt more ores. I headed to Bandit Camp to finally follow through with that shop exploit I mentioned at the start of this video, turning 1600 sulfur into 4000. Holy shit. And now I got 4k sulfur. And while I was there, I also bought a garage door at another shop and researched it, making the base much more expensive and spacious once I crafted a couple. After adding some electricity, I was going to get off for the night, but then I heard a raid nearby. These guys have been raiding all night, literally all night they've been raiding. I don't think anyone's countering them either, because like everyone knows that it's probably just the same guys, so no one's countering. Is that a raid base? Dude, if I had like an LR or something, dude. Not a fucking SAR. These guys would be so fucking dead, it's not even funny. It's literally like a 2 by one <laughs> So much these guys just don't care. I'm surprised they have a raid base at all, honestly. to get that gun, whatever it was, I think it was an MP5 or an AK or something. There was a fucking HE launcher on that guy, dude. No, man, I'm so mauled that I couldn't get the fucking body that had an HE launcher on it and shit, bro. I was literally just about to get it. Knowing these guys had a grenade launcher, I left while I was up an AK. It was getting late, however, so it was time to call it a day. If I wasn't offline, I'd be raiding tomorrow. Okay. Seems like I'm good. I assumed I would be. Day 2 started off good knowing I wasn't offline, but it got even better with the first fight of the day. I knew that guy had a custom. Alright, well it looks like I'm not gonna do a sewer branch run. Oh, bean can! <laughs> oh my god, that, that was actually 
ridiculously worth. I'm gonna research that right away. I'm gonna get Satchel too. After researching Bean Can and Satchel, I went to check out the hillside roof campers. I know I said I'd raid them first, but this tower right above my base was just asking to be investigated. I want to get into this tower so bad because, I, like, the roof, one of the doors isn't open. Or it just doesn't even have a door. So you can literally just ladder up. I need to know what it looks like in there, though. I, I hardly know what it looks like. I need to compound bow out that turret right there, and then I need to satchel the other turret. Like, maybe I'll like ladder right above it and then throw two satchels on it? I don't know. But I know there's another one close to the gate, too. I, I need to inspect it. I need to check it out. I learned from my mistakes last time, so this time I tried to find another way in. So let's go for an audio test here first. Nice, the audio's bugged, but I see one right here. I see another one right there. Oh, wow. That is a bolty turret, and it really fucking hurts. I almost think it's worth it to just ladder up on this to, to get a better view. I don't think there's a turret there. Might be able to ladder over in peace right there. I'm gonna see. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Okay, that, that stupid python one can see me from so far away. Okay, I'm gonna try a new angle here. You know what? I'm gonna bring an extra satchel in there in case I have the opportunity to satchel these fucking turrets. And if I die, it's not a big deal. It's only two satchels, which I think is kind of crazy. It only takes two satchels to, to break a uh, turret. There's definitely one right here. I hope none of those dud. Okay, that's one. Yes! Yes! It's out of ammo. No way. It is out of ammo. <gasps> oh, baby. Okay, that's actually really, really good. I'm just gonna get out of here and then come straight back with more satchels. <laughs> that turret's out of ammo. Perfect. And then this is the bolty turret. two please yes yes holy shit let's go let's fucking go well, all right bolty turret's gone how much ammo did this fucking thing have a lot now i can go all the way up and i can see what's going on Another ladder, son of a bitch. Wait, they left this door open right here. Well, I mean, I did what I wanted to do. I broke the turrets and now I can actually raid this. I think I'm gonna craft explosive ammo. And I think I'm gonna go like from the roof down because there's an armored door open up there. And I don't know, I, ju I just feel like that might be the best way in. After coming this far, breaking the turrets and weaseling my way in, I had to go all the way, especially since there was a crack in the roof I could slip through and an open armored door visible from the outside. If there was this many mistakes from the outside, there could be more on the inside. So I headed back home and crafted as much explosive ammo as I could. I was really hoping to get at least something from this. Otherwise, I'd be screwed. No, line of sight blocked. They need to fix that. It is so broken. Okay. What do we got up here? I don't see any, um, garage doors through the wall. I am, I, I think I am gonna blow this. I'm gonna try this one door. 
I'm gonna see where it leads. And if it doesn't lead anywhere, I'll go through the front. But I, I see an open armored door, so like, that's pretty promising in my eyes. I'm hoping it'll clear up a little bit as I go down. Okay, there's that open armored door. Which is a really good sign. Oh, yes! M2, AK, oh yeah, baby. Definitely taking that AK, the M2, Molo. Okay. Oh, no way. Okay, holy shit. Yes, 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 yes. This is another loot room right here too. Oh my god, I need to transfer loot. I need to transfer some loot. I actually need to transfer some loot. Oh my god. This is exactly what I was hoping for, dude. Box of fucking sulfur, wow. Oh my god, I got home. Let's go. So much sulfur. We're not even done yet. When I got home, I made some extra explosive ammo and headed straight back. Another open door, yes, please. Okay, wow, look at the scrap. GP out the ass. Another ladder, they just keep giving me ladders. Shit, dude, yeah, I guess I just gotta keep going. Oh my goodness. 2C4? Oh my god. This base is actually just giving me stuff to continue. Another AK? If there's any sulfur in here, is can I use this tier three? Is this like usable? It is. Okay. If I if there's like oh large furnace is outside. Okay, I can make more expo ammo here. I just need to get those that large furnace running. All right. Now let's make more expo ammo <laughs> at their own tier three. Yes. Garage door. I can get through that though. Oh, yes! No way! Another C4! No way! Another ladder! <laughs> this is scripted! This is actually scripted. They keep giving me exactly what I need. This is stupid. Find a window. Baba, baby pasta. Okay, a little bit more GP. Okay, nothing, nothing crazy. I, I, I think that I basically spent everything that like, you know, I should spend on this so far, and I've already gotten everything I should get. I kind of want to raid this door right here. I don't want to go this way because I'm pretty sure that's the entrance. It has to be the entrance right there. And then this is another loot room because it has a shelf in it. Oh, baby. <laughs> no way. Oh, my God. Of course. There's, there's just one box in here, and it has that. Like, is that some sort of joke? Holy shit, man. 
So it's fair to say that this raid went extremely well. Right off the bat, I got a box of sulfur, and as I went deeper into the base, I kept finding drizzles of explosives in their own boxes to continue raiding them. I had plenty of sulfur, gunpowder, and extra boom to raid another base. And I think you know exactly who I had in mind. But this base was closer to a hot zone, and I didn't have a compound to protect me from counter raiders. So, I made a trip to build a small raid base on top of the rock, right beside it. I stashed a few kits in there, and then headed down to develop a raid plan. You would have missed me anyway, dude. Okay, I can finally actually inspect this base now. Okay. Nice. After that little skirmish, I went straight home to depot and make raid preparations. I didn't get to make a plan beforehand, but I was sure I'd be able to come up with something once I was there with all of the boom. So after turning most of the sulfur into explosives, I headed over to finally give these roof campers some justice. Alright, it's a row of explo. That's probably enough right there to raid that base. This is it, this is for all the marbles. Alright, trying to think. I think I'm gonna blow this one here. Actually, let's do Expo ammo first. Let's do Expo ammo first. Okay, I saved a little bit by going through the roof. What do we have? Oh, it's a bunker, but it's not sealed yet. I gotta be careful to not seal this. Yo, there's a boat kit out here. Is this base raided already? The TC should be down there. Right. That's what you get. Take his bow the bow, run. man. Pick. I need a little bit more wood for new TC. Perfect. I need to, like, understand what this base is for, like, a few seconds. Zero metal frags, like bruh. Okay, this 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 base was not worth at all. I'm glad I did the first, the other one first. This base sucks asshole. 
I'll tell you why they don't have anything. It's because they roof camp all day, and when they finally kill somebody, they go and loot them and depot their shit and never roam with them. So they, they're they they're pretty much just sitting here doing nothing all day. But I'm glad I raided them anyway. It's like, you can't just play a wipe like that and expect to not get raided. I did the whole server justice. Alright, there's that stuff. Nice unlootable loot room. <laughs> a little bit of sulfur, but nowhere near worth. These guys have a roof camp you! What? These guys have a roof camp you! Yeah, they, they, yeah, sometimes they did. I was trying to go to, to airfield and I just got shot at by them. Yep. Yeah. That's why they're fucking raided. Yeah. Let me hear you say it! Fuck these guys! Let me hear it! What the- What the fuck?! What no, the no, 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 no. Stop squealing! Let me hear you say it! Fuck, fuck these guys. guys! Yeah! Fuck these fuck guys! These guys. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, put that gun away. I'm just... Put that gun away. What? Yeah, that's I'm, what I thought. I'm sorry. Hey, you guys want some loot? They, they were pretty yeah, poor. Yeah, want loot. Yeah, yeah. All these guys had was fucking loot that they got from roof camping, dude. They had, like, nothing. Are we gonna be in a video? I don't know who you guys think I am, but, you know, it's, it's fine. And you can keep, uh... Fan Dude, boy. yeah, you're Spoon Kid, right? Yeah, that's me. Here you go, boys. That's pretty much all they had, so <laughs> yeah. enjoy it, baby. <laughs> no way. Yeah! I got, a, yeah. I got a sweater! Yeah, let's go! I got a sweater! Let's go! It may have not been an online raid, it may have not been a profitable raid, but it was a liberating raid. Not only did I get some of my own revenge, but in a way I freed these nice folk from being roof camped ever again. At least by these guys. Overall, another solo's job well done. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Until next time, peace out.